Hofstede's Six Dimensions of Organizational Culture. At the end of the 60s, Geerd Hofstede developed a culture dimension model with more than 110,000 employees from IBM based on a factor analysis, which initially consisted of four main dimensions, and Hofstede subsequently added two dimensions. The six dimensions are always to be taken in the form of alternatives. The six cultural dimensions are power distance, individualism and collectivism, masculinity and femininity, uncertainty avoidance, long-term or short-term orientation, and the last dimension is indulgence versus restraint. We will consider each individual cultural dimension by using an example in the following. Hofstede describes the cultural dimension of power distance as a subjectively perceived willingness to accept an unequal distribution of power in an organization. There is often a high power gap between the various hierarchy levels in very conservative structures. Accordingly, management makes decisions, and the result is passed on down. It is also necessary to maintain all communication channels and thus also the specified power structures. In startup companies or companies with modern management methods, there is often a culture of flat hierarchies and open communication between staff and management. The power distance is a theoretical action and a reason for potential applicants from Generation Y and Generation Z to choose one or the other employer. The second cultural dimension describes the collectivist or individualistic characteristics of an organization. In other words, the performance and self-realization of the individual are in the sense of organization above the feeling of we. I do what I do to reach my performance limits and develop personally, or is the collectivist idea in the foreground, for example, the us feeling. I do what I do to contribute to the overall performance support the team's goal. In Asian or Latin American companies, in particular, the collectivist idea is very pronounced, while in commission-dependent sales organizations, individualism is in the forefront. The third cultural dimension describes masculinity or femininity. It represents stereotypical values and behavioral norms that are typically male or female. However, you have to note that it is not about the actual frequency distribution of the sexes, but about typically male behavior such as domination and competition. However, this behavior is not only found in men, it is also found in women. Femininity is displayed through values such as caring, cooperation, and modesty from importance, which can be traits found in men as well. The fourth dimension is the uncertainty of avoidance. This is about the openness to new things or the opposite, i.e., fear of change. Suppose one culture recognizes opportunities in changes and takes risks in return. In that case, other cultures persist in their status quo and reject the fear or uncertainty of change processes or only go along in a very weakened form. The fifth dimension is the dimension of the long or short-term directions. The landing or short-term orientation indicates how long the planning horizon is in a society. Standards and values that go hand-in-hand -hand with long-term orientation are frugality and perseverance. However, values that point to a short-term organization are selfishness and flexibility. Finally, the sixth and final cultural dimension, indulgence and restraint, this dimension is still relatively new and describes the potential achievement of happiness through the perception of self-control for oneself and one's life in contrast to an externally determined way of living one's life. Transferred to companies, you can call yourself the freedom to develop in the free economy as it suits you, depending on the ability to discipline yourself. While as a civil servant at the post office for example, you have to adhere to a rigorous career path. You can only change it slightly. These were the six dimensions of organizational culture by Geerd Hofstede. We hope you enjoyed this presentation. Please like and subscribe for more.